person, you should not speak like that in, uh, to the customer because the more pleasantly you speak, you attract a customer and your employer, when they realize that because of your behavior and approach towards the consumers, more and more consumers are coming. Sometimes you go to a supermarket, a person, a salesperson speaks to you in a very pleasant manner as compared to the other. So each time when you go, you look out for that person. And that person becomes the employee of the month. So this is important. And you will be surprised the insult is no more insult and you may even smile. It hurts only when it has been received in a state of unawareness or when ego is operating. Somebody praises and appreciates you, again you listen with alertness and then nobody can persuade you to do foolish things. Nobody can bribe you and flattery too becomes impossible. You will smile at the whole nonsense of it. Oh, you are praising me for what? I have not done anything, simply I have done my job. And the food that I cooked and you say it is tasty, I did not know that you are coming to eat, I had cooked it for me. And that's how I cook every day. Oh, you find it really tasting good? So you like it? No, it doesn't matter to me. You eat and just get out of here as quickly as possible so that I can go into my honeymoon session with my being. I am in constant honeymoon with my being. So I don't want anybody to disturb me. The more I am alone by myself, I can spend my time in that. Listen, watch and be aware. And by and by a different quality of being arises in you which is neither of the body, nor of the feeling, nor of the thought, a different kind of pillar of flame starts within you, it starts gathering within you and becomes more and more crystallized. As this awareness becomes crystallized, for the first time you will feel more and more you are. This is the feeling of being. Then moods will become more and more irrelevant. Your moods will not change. They will come and go, but you will remain unperturbed. One moment your energy may be low, one moment there is happiness, next moment there is sorrow. These are moods that like waves coming onto the surface of the ocean. These will not disturb the ocean. <coughs> waves do not disturb the ocean. Waves arise on the surface of the ocean as an interaction between wind and the water. So like that it <coughs> comes. Climate will change around you. Someone may die. You may have financial loss but you will remain unchanged as if nothing has happened. There is an example. During the time of the British rule in Calcutta, there was a person named Ishwachand Vidyasagar. Was one, he was a contemporary of Ramakrishna Paramahansa, very intelligent person. He used to wear the traditional clothes. Traditional clothes means a dhoti and kurta the typical Bengali style of life and the governor has invited him for a meeting. So he was wondering that he has to go and meet the governor so he should put on the western clothes. He was in a state of dilemma whether to change his clothes or to go in the same way. So the friend suggested that you should not go in your traditional wear. You should go into western clothes. He did not know. So every evening he used to go for a walk. He saw a man 
It was a period of renaissance, the Muslim influence that preceded the beginning of the British um, rule was waning its effect, but still in culture and so its effect was prominent. So there was a man who was wearing a long flowing jacket and a trousers which is in the western style like a slacks and he has his cap on his head and a stick in his hand flowing in the stick freely he was walking. All of a sudden his servant came running and he said, Meer Sahib, Meer Sahib, that was his name lovingly, he said, gentlemen, gentlemen, your house is on fire. Your house is on fire. If you hear this, what you will do, you will leave everything and run. He continued to walk in the same style, same way as if nothing has happened. The servant was panicking and the usual time he took to reach home, by then the neighbors have, been, have called the ambulance, the work was happening and he remained standing outside watching all that is happening. Ishwachan Vidya Sagar, when he saw this episode, he found that there is something unique in this person. What is he saving? Is he saving his house or something else? He is not saving his house, instead he is saving his consciousness, his awareness. That he has gained within. He is saving that. And then the fire people did their job. Whatsoever loss was to happen, happened. You cannot avoid it. Even if he had come running, it could not be avoided. So he wrote in his diary that this particular event has brought about change into my life. And he went to meet the Viceroy into his traditional clothes. He did not get the Western clothes made. The climate will change around you, someone may die, you may have a financial loss, but you will remain unchanged as if nothing has happened. Whatsoever happens, happens on the surface, but there will not be a change within. Within will remain absolutely pure and uncorrupted. You are the watcher on the hill. This is the true nature. Awareness means you are listening to me unfocused. Of course, alertness is necessary. You have not fallen asleep. You are alert to the sound of the birds. They are chirping to the wind that is passing through the trees. Alert to everything that is happening around you. In this precise single moment, many things are taking place. The sound of the birds, the sound of cuckoo, the breeze blowing and rustling through the tree leaves. Concentration excludes much and includes nothing. Awareness ex excludes nothing. It is all inclusive. Awareness is the state when the mind is in a state of thoughtlessness. You are, yet you are not focused. You are just a mirror reflecting and echoing everything that is there. The silence and the stillness too. Suddenly you are and you are not. And in that moment, miracle begins to happen. In the silence, you will feel compassion, compassion for all those who are suffering. It has not been practiced either. It comes on its own. This moment is enough. Be aware in this moment. This very moment is total. And when next moment comes, you forget. So be it. Be aware of your forgetfulness as well. 
you were supposed to remain aware but suddenly a moment comes that you forget that I told you not to get angry when anger comes you just postpone it but you forget at that moment but immediately you remember that you have forgotten then you enjoy the forgetfulness you have not lost anything be aware of your forgetfulness one has to be attentive even of one's inattentiveness forgetfulness in those moments you are aware of awareness and not, it is not a simple awareness, it is complex. You are aware of your awareness, then there are moments when you are, you miss a point, you are aware of your unawareness, but awareness continues as a subtratum. Whatsoever is happening, you are aware of it. You forget it, you are aware of it. You remember it, you are aware of it. Awareness is the key, it is a subtratum. Sometimes you are aware of your awareness, other times you are not. But in those cases, in both cases, you are aware and that is beautiful. And once you have tasted awareness, nothing is worth it. You have known the greatest secret of life, the bliss of life then suddenly many things simply drop, they look stupid and become foolish. The motivation is not there, the desire is not there, the dreams are no more. Practice awareness. By becoming more and more aware, the life moves in a totally different direction. There is no other way. It is a simple process. Whatsoever you are doing, do it with such consciousness as if it is a question of life and death. The sword is hanging over your neck. I teach you how to live life more attentively, mindfully, meditatively with love, caring and consciousness. Be aware as you are. Be aware as you traverse through life's roads, moment to moment. New meaning will arise. Bliss will overflow as the fragrance of awareness. Bliss is the fragrance of awareness. Live life moment to moment full of awareness. Is there any question I can take it? It is 9.30. So hour and a half I spoke. So did you all know this hour and a half past? What kept you? Nobody was fidgeting, nobody was restless. Otherwise, you know, the, I did not even change my posture. I just sit down one way and remain like that. It is the energy that is flowing through the words that is creating the effects. Our and how finished. If there is any question or anything, as you can Ask, I can answer it. This did not work. Okay, see, we did not put it go live, so only one part remains. I have to learn from us. Your question was answered? Uh, in multiple ways, yes. When you are speaking to us, you are 
are speaking to us do how is your awareness of us um, are there times for you where you where our presence may not even be felt where you're just almost just only listening to whatever's coming through you your presence your awareness just yes, just even being. No, but uh, yeah, is it not a great that you all can remain captivated for that hour and a half without any kind of a restlessness? So you have that capacity to absorb that consciousness, absorb that presence, absorb that silence that is flowing. And that is what has happened in that moment. Someone else may not be able to sit down for that hour and a half, will feel restless. So you have that capacity to absorb that silence, that awareness. And one day, when you go on absorbing, it starts overflowing out of So that is my observation, you have a great capacity to absorb that.